our story, the communist nation of North Korea has apparently carried out its first missile test since 2017, and analysts say it could also be a test of the United States. For years, the two rival countries have been at odds over North Korea's nuclear weapons program and its missiles that could potentially carry a nuclear weapon. In the past, North Korea has said its nuclear program is a right. The United States and other members of the United Nations have said it's illegal and they put strict penalties on North Korea's economy to pressure the country to end its nuclear program. North Korea wants those sanctions removed. The U.S. wants North Korea's weapons programs ended. But the two sides did not reach a deal when their leaders met for a second summit in February. And experts say the missile test that North Korea conducted on Saturday could be a warning that North Korea is frustrated that progress hasn't been made since this winter. The White House says while it continues to apply pressure to North Korea's economy, the U.S. hopes the two countries can get back to the negotiating table to reach a deal. Experts who examined this satellite image say it probably captured the smoke trail that one of the missiles left. It's believed to be from a short-range projectile, so it wouldn't technically break a North Korean promise not to fire long-range missiles. Still, analysts say this could be a sign that more tests are on the horizon. Our first story, the communist nation of North Korea has apparently carried out its first missile test since 2017. Analysts say it could also be a test of the United States. For years, the two rival countries have been at those over North Korea's nuclear weapon program and its missile that could potentially carry a nuclear weapon. In the past, North Korea has said its nuclear program is alright. The United States and the other members of the United Nations have said it's illegal and they've put strict penalty on North Korea's economy to pressure the country to end its nuclear program. North Korea wants those sanctions removed. The U.S. wants North Korea's weapon program ended, but the two sides did not reach a deal when their leaders met for a second summit in February. It on Saturday could be a warning that North Korea's frustrated that progress has been made since this winter. The White House say while it continues to apply pressure to North Korea's economy. The U.S. hope the two countries can get back to the negotiating table to reach a deal. Experts who examined this satellite image say it probably captured the smoke trail that one of the missiles left. It's believed to be from a short-range projectile, so it wouldn't technically break a North Korean promise not to fire long-range missiles. Still, analysts say this could be a sign that more tests are along the horizon. CNN 첫 이야기. 공산국가 북한이 2017년 이래 첫 미사일 실험을 명백하게 수행했으며 분석가들은 이것이 또한 미국을 시험한 것일 수 있다고 말합니다. 수년간 두 경쟁국은 북한의 핵무기 계획과 잠재적으로 핵무기를 수행할 수 있는 미사일을 놓고 분쟁해 오고 있다. 과거 북한은 핵 프로그램은 권리라고 말해왔다. 미국과 다른 UN 회원국들은 그것이 불법이라고 말해왔고 북한의 핵 프로그램을 중단하도록 압력을 가하기 위해 북한 경제에 엄격한 제재를 가해왔다. 북한은 그런 제재들이 제거되기를 원한다. 미국은 북한의 무기 프로그램이 끝나길 바라지만 양국 정상이 2월에 두 번째 정상회담을 위해 만났을 때 양측의 합의를 이루지 못했다. 전문가들은 북한이 지난 토요일에 실시한 미사일 시험 발사가 겨울부터 진전을 이루지 못한 불만에 대한 북한의 도발 가능성을 담은 경고일 수 있다고 말한다. 백악관은 북한 경제에 압력을 계속 가하면서 미국은 양국이 협상 테이블로 돌아와 협상을 시작할 수 있기를 희망한다고 말했다. 이 인공위성 이미지를 조사한 전문가들은 미사일 중 하나가 남긴 연기 흔적을 찍은 것 같다고 말한다. 그것은 단거리 발사체에서 나온 것으로 원칙적으로는 장거리 미사일을 발사하지 않겠다는 북한이 약속을 깨지 않은 것으로 믿어진다. 여전히 분석가들은 이것이 더 많은 미사일 테스트가 진행될 수 있다는 조짐일 수 있다고 말한다. 여러분도 CNN 앵커처럼 말하려면 뉴스를 잘 듣고 문장을 이해하고 발음과 억양을 익히고 리듬과 강세를 따라하세요. 그러면 여러분도 유창한 영어 실력을 갖게 될 것입니다. Practice makes perfect. See you next time.